There is a building in DC where the ideas are endless. One of the success of the past fuels the hunger of the present. A place where the law factor seems endless. To the point where consumers claim that their next car is their next generation. In the metro, the 7K deliveries have always been overlooked and inspected. But this year, the meticulous timing and belief in the high number can achieve success that's unexpected. Glenmont, Glenmont, Mount Vernon Square, Mount Vernon Square, the DC 19, 19 Auto Show. Auto Show. Glamour Station yet again for another exciting life view. This time we're going not the other place. Now we're going to Mount Vernon Square by the red lines and green or yellow lines. What can we expect on the high number 7K? Can we get that? The 7K is here right now. We can discover it any minute. Hi everybody, DC 4000 MTA and awesome dude with you once again. And uh, we're excited to show you guys a 7k train we're going to take to either Gallery Place, I'm not going to square the sides, no, not Gallery Place or um, Gallery Place or Fort Top start. And 575 is here, how about that? Well, unfortunately, we're going to take 177 and 176. Stands. Well, it takes 71, 77. Near a capital place, this is looking up a road street now. <laughs> Car number seven of this train. I think the shit is over in the back of 777. So, a capital placement on the red line finally returns. So Beginning on this any minute, and we'll start on a journey to the auto show next. Fox Sports, welcome you to the following presentation of the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority. Board 7177. We are. Doors open again. Doors open. Step back to allow customers to exit. When I'm boarding, ready to take off in just a minute. Step back. Doors open. There you go again. If this was an order, it would be 1177, but sadly that's retired and we will miss it very much greatly. And we're thinking about we're thinking about doing a throwback Thursday here, which is if we invite them to an any given Thursday. Then we could just do a throwback of what actually what 7K designates with old, what old train cars replacing. But the one ahead of us it will be Cat 5175. Unfortunately, that car is gone. Retired last year, October 2018. Glad you're with us on Fox. And off we go. Replaying to plan to reprint maps because the yellow line starting this summer is going to be going to Greenbelt again. So Rush Plus will be back, but I don't know if it's going to go to Frank Cottage Springfield for the other direction. That's what we don't know yet. I've been hearing that recently. The yellow line will be going back to Greenbelt again.
75 75 in this train but the thing is could we catch a record car and meanwhile Joe Gray isn't leading like he usually does, as I lied, but this time this is Transit Film 6420 train. is leading with car 7626. Yes, that's right, the 6,000, not 6,000, the 600, the number 7Ks are out. This is a red train to Shady Grove. The next stop is Forest Glen. Please stand back. Doors both. And as... Yeah, so the only car that's ahead of it right now, it's in service at 76.27, so the chances are very slim I can catch that one. Why are we stopping there? Put money. 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 Why are we stopping there? Gotta close the Fort Totten. What? Why are we stopping there? Gotta close the Fort Totten. So get out of place guys, we just got a confirmation. Sorry for the little... Thing at Tanley Town Station. And the trains sound like it kind of like a London on the ground rather than the usual decent metro rail sound and New York subway rail sound too. So they're pretty much the same. Same thing with the Palm Plaza, there are points there. Boy, I think that was the fastest time we've ever traveled over these points. And here's Forest Glen. So far, just a 7K with 75-75. Doors opening on the left. And the place continues. Turn, What's up? This is Josh Norman, number 24, cornerback here in DC. I always carry a ton of things with me. Football gear, toys from my Stars 24 Foundation. The only people who should be worried about me are the opposing wide receivers. You see something on a train or a bus that doesn't look right. Strange package or unattended bag, port it right away to Metro. Be vigilant to keep Metro safe. Now if you see something, better say something. that Walter built, the house that Walter Johnson built, I believe. Now this new rail sound, it's kind of hard to tell how fast trains actually going.
the actual rail sound of the pitch of the rail sound right now, the train would be going about almost 100 or so miles an hour, like roughly around 90 or 95 miles an hour, but it's not going that fast. It's about 50 or 55, we'll say around that range. But this is the actual pitch of the rail sound of how it actually is in the, in the past. It will be at 90 or 95 miles an hour, which is in surge speed and system because the top speed is usually 75 miles an hour in the metro rail itself. So, it may not be the case with other lines though because it's only better than the red not the others. The silver line still sounds pretty much a normal rail sound and the font plaza on the green and yellow lines as the trains arrive from the Greenbelt side going to Ranch Avenue and Huntington. Still got normal sounds on the rail pretty much there. Oh, train 3240, 3241, 3172, 3179, and 3222, and 3223. Another 7K, all waiting over there. Going to Glenmont, or maybe it's just going to turn around. Nope, it's going to Glenmont. 204, 205, 279, 278 that almost commonly now on this line very active 7k 279 278 from what we're seeing this is a 7000 series train doors open set back to allow customers to exit okay when so boring, please move to the center of the car the train departs this is a red line train the yeah, right. next stop is oh, the phone oh, is on our stop next um, I went blank for a second. 182, 183. And 287, 286. Step back. Doors open. This is a 7,000 series train. Doors open. Set back to allow customers to exit. When boarding, please move to the center of the car. Well, that doesn't say the actual stop symbol night sign. I think I think they're changing drivers now. Now that just happened. But I don't know for sure because it's, because it's, this train's automated and you can't really hear the driver unless it decides to speak, which I'm pretty sure they won't do. We're turning off these messages. Never mind, we're not going anywhere. Not to go, and all of a sudden, we're not going anywhere. And also, what could be on the proposed plan here, um, since I'm going to go into my senior year in about a couple of months or so, there is a chance we could do pretty much weekly Metro broadcasts to my internship location, which is going to be the FAA on I Street and they will vary most of the times will be against they'll be going to Farragut North on this on this line. I think this is the return of the normal rail sound. And the New York subway is popping up in spots. Maybe not here the Freaking noise again. Do a little flashback here. Remember riding 7318? It was a jet, it was a jet like 7K as we heard. Kind of, and as this one is going on, you can barely hear the roar, the roar of propulsion, kind of like it. It kind of sounds like that as it's going at a high speed. It does not sound like a roar as it's slowing down, and basically what you used to hear in the metro in the past days as, it, as the roar was in the train that was accelerating. 
decelerating in. Usually can't hear that now. That sound is gone. The old grating noise is gone, which I loved. The caps are gone. 3156, 3157 is, is here. 3221, 3220. Doors opening on the left. That's going to Silver Spring. 209 and 208, that's the end. This is a 7,000 series train. Doors open. Step back to allow customers to exit. When boarding, please move to the center of the car. This is a red line train to Shady Grove. The next stop is Fort Had a chance of getting back to second place. Back. Doors like I just said. Those of you just running us some. Um, we had a chance of getting second place because in front of this car, 7177 that we're on right now, is 7575. Which is in between Joe Gray's recent car and Transit Films. Transit Films being in first place, Gray being in second. At 535 on the orange line, which you recently rode. This train is going to go at this stop three minutes. Not too long of a wait. Just giving each promise of being back to good. As we uh, hit Fort Totten in a moment. 100 mile per hour sound, even though it's not going at 100 miles an hour. Resembling now, this sound is resembling the London Underground, Victoria Line specifically. It's not on every line. There's no rail sound on any other line. It's just the Victoria Line. At some stations, let's say like Pimlico, you can expect 2009 stock train to roll in. And you basically hear that noise. I think it's not only there. Probably also at Warren Street or. Victoria itself, that station. Oh no, Black Horse Road, that place. That also could you could hear rail, rail sound at this level, at this pitch of a level. F6 or whatnot. Four Times Square, that's the new apartments. Look at one of the two, the seven gets zooms by. This is Fort Totten. Transfer is available to green and yellow lines on the lower level. Some third rails bend again. It's not really very much for the benefit. Honestly, by the look at the weather, it looks very good in taking pictures Doors here. Doors opening on the left. Sending them out because of the sun effect. Just like sitting out small little boom from then. Okay. This is a 7,000 series train. So basically, Doors open. Step back to allow train. customers to exit. When boarding, please move to the center of the car. This is a red line train to Shady Grove. The next stop is Brooklyn Catholic University. Step back. Doors open. We get extended, and since I'm, since I'm going to be going by myself to the internship, ob which is pretty obvious, um, could get some extra coverage and bonus coverage of other lines if we leave Farragut North. So, I mean, for example, if we leave Farragut North, hit the McPherson Square, go to Lafon Plaza, then do the usual shebang, but the various the weekly broadcasts will be on the way if. It stands. So that's currently what we're working with right now. So separate. So separation tunnel for trains that are leaving this line and going to the green and yellow below us. A 
and who knows, and who knows if chances are we can start at College Park Station rather than Fort Totten or Silver Spring. That's mostly where the starting location is going to be. Silver Spring, Fort Totten, possibly College Park Station on the Green Line. That's still possible. So many changes coming to the upcoming school year. This is the last quarter, and this one will come to a close soon. Then Catholic University coming up. Frame there, but most likely not. But there is, never mind. 266, 267. And doors opening on the left. I put that in now. Recently. 291, 290. Or two years ago we had a shot at the record again. Doors open. Five six oh four, six oh five. Warning, please move to the center of and 299, 298. This is a red line train to Shady Grove. The next How about that? Sun changes. Avenue, the sun changes usually the all the world, but no. There's a cap. No, there's an excess 7K in there. It's from 7592 onwards, that's pretty much excess 7K. It's because 5000 through 5191 were in the cap series. Three K in two minutes for Glenda. Six oh four on our channel. New sighting on the high seven code. Six oh four. Rail sounds pretty much fading on this. This part of the red line, the rail sounds kind of fading. We just went through that short tunnel. He's getting out. All these, the LED cars are still yet to be spotted. 277, 276. 3, no, 271, 270, and 263, 262. So 3200s in that set. And as well as the others back behind, that were in Silver Spring. Doors opening on the left. So now as we saw those hints of high number seven Ks, there's a chance now. So we get up our second straight and roll. This is a 7,000 series train. We have four consecutive original Breitas now around the doors. Refer back to the old 70s for twice in a row. This is a red line train to Shady Grove. The next stop is Silver Spring. Step back. Doors both. Step back. Doors both. Is the Avona Kate editor? I done this on another website where it didn't sound as accurate as this, as what the 7Ks have. Another 3K in 7 minutes. Look, we see down at the shed. Anything familiar? Speeding here a little bit fast from faster than normal. Over 3Ks, I believe. Yep, 3183, 3182. There's, there's a cap, 5165. Oh! An old cap, 5100, 5101, 5180, 5181. How about that? We caught a little throwback. There is a cap still here. And speaking, and specifically speaking of 5100 and 5101, those still have original. Randy Miller door chimes. Can you get to the? We'll put that in the Visa halftime report. We'll request that. We'll not request that. I'll put it in there since I'm the only guy that covers everything in out there. There is a cap down there. My goodness. Pretty good catches so far. 
Gallaudet University. Five K's retired and but could they rejoice and say, is it gonna return? What if it does return? What if the five K's return? I mean, I mean the one K's are obviously gone, they're off the rails. That's official. But how about that? We caught some five K's. Doors opening on the left. So those bad guys, so those bad boys are not are not scrapped yet. And you do know, I th I believe that the 4K is just it preserved 4,000, 4,000 more. I could show my avatar soon. Doors Thanks to Joe Gray riding car 4,000 back, back in the past. That could eventually be my new avatar. Because I got the car number on the outside. I took a snapshot of it, and that could be my new avatar for this channel. Station. Doors station coming up next. I was trying to stop looking kind of back fast. So I started not to take a break and I had a lot to say. So as we said, 5100 and 5101 basically have the older Randy Miller chimes. I mean, the, the marimba was still the same. I mean, there's no rhythm change. It's still the same, just the voice was different. Let me look here at the... Uh, 7K leaderboard. Currently, Transit Films is writing, has written 76.26, and Joe Gray falling behind at 75.35, and David Ju writing 75.30. And I'm off the leaderboard. Turn things around 246, 247, 236, 237, 236, 237, 273, 272. Still don't remember this day. I'm looking at the caps in person, but not a close. So didn't write them yet. We're never gonna, no, we're not gonna write them again, obviously. So we'll be back. After these messages and a word from your local Fox station. Fast. So I started not to take a break and I had a lot to say. So as we said, 5100 and 5101 basically have the older Randy Miller chimes. I mean, the, the marimba was still the same. I mean, there's no rhythm change. It's still the same, just the voice was different. Nope, not yet. I'll do that now. Cool. As we move on now, oh, look at that little math thing on the other side. 2, 6, 12. Remember? Times 6 equals 12. Two trains for a 7K. They're all 8 cars, so they possibly could be 7Ks. It may not be, though. Saturday, beautiful day outside, spring hits, we enter center platform, nothing in center tracks, and the buttons on the top right, we enter square, exit here for the National Building Museum. Lights were. 
think they kind of redone their lights at the beginning of the station rather than what's ahead. Doors opening on the right. 5100, 5101. Series train. Doors open. Step back to allow customers to exit. When boarding, please move to the center of the car. This is a red line train to Shady Grove. The next stop Two is minutes, so Gallery so Place, Chinatown. Comes in. Step back. Make GPC for abbreviation. <laughs> Gallery place will transfer. I hope you get your high number 7k down there, which is more likely to happen. Not much rumble effect down there either. This is one. This is a, bit, a little bit insulated to the tank on plaza where you can get it loud down there. Foggy bombers are a loud one too. But it's, it's a better effect if you stand outside the train. As you arrive, we're showing you guys what's coming up on the Visa Half Time. Metro has passed a budget and we're going to show you every last bit in detail of what it has for you. The Yellow Line is going to start going back to Greenbelt this summer. Yes, the Rush Plus service may recommence. And we will show you the throwback of Cat 5101's original door chime by Randy Miller. So there are some pretty exciting things and major memories all coming up on this halftime. So there is a 7K down there. Yeah? Yeah? There's 75, 13, and 512. It is packed in there. I bet I had a trip over or something. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are, you, are, are you sure it's a green line? Sure, yeah. It's the same direction. Oh. So we got on the high number 7K, the new high 7K we've ridden on. For our Twitch channel, 7512, <laughs> which is essentially cat 5112 if it was the older train. The cat fans are, of course, gearing up for the playoffs. Final game tonight is the New York Islanders. So riding that now as we witnessed that on the 4th of July last year. We witnessed that on 4th of July last year, 7512 on the red line at Gary Place. Now it's on the green line. As we take off. 436 is behind this. I think they changed the signs here too. Yep. We're here to our show and we'll see you guys in the Visa halftime starting now.